It is no secret that Nashville is one of the hottest and fastest growing cities right now in the country. Many publications call us the it city and it means the next mayor will have a big responsibility. For sure, he or she will be elected in August. Today, the candidates participated in a panel discussion, and News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger was there. Mark. Well, that's right. This was a Meet the Mayors panel discussion. It was the first of what many people, or many hope, will be several forums and debates involving the candidates. Um, as they are uh, finding their seats. The discussion started with getting to know each of the candidates. Megan Barry is a Metro Councilwoman and businesswoman. You need to understand government and you need to understand business, and I understand both. Charles Bone is an attorney, businessman, and Democratic Party fundraiser. In addition to being involved civically and politically uh, for the last 15 years, I've been a lawyer, an entrepreneur, and a business owner. Jeremy Kane found a charter school. That's why as an entrepreneur, I know the courage it takes to mortgage your house, and even more importantly, asking your wife to let you mortgage your house to start Lead Academy and growing it into five schools. Linda eskin Rebrovic is a businesswoman who heads a consumer research firm. I'm running for your mayor because I want to bring my life's experiences to work together for Nashville and all Nashvillians. David Fox is an investment expert, a businessman, and the former chairman of the Metro School Board. I think the challenge right now is, uh, is the refrain I hear every day is, you know, can we just keep this going? Can we just keep it going, comma, an awkward pause without becoming the next Atlanta? That led to talk about the area's growth. We have 1.8 million people in the region, and we're going to grow to 3 million over the next 20 years. That requires us to think regionally. That requires us to reach out into the region and look for consensus on things like dedicated funding and a mass transit strategy. And that also requires us to look out 10 or 15 or 20 years. Most cities are looking for a funding help from the state, but the money isn't there. Fox thinks the answer might be in public-private partnerships. Private entity funds the funds it. We lease it back. Their user fees. People who use the service pay for it. And in 20, 30 years, the municipality owns the uh, uh, owns the product. Barry wants to keep more people in Nashville by improving education. People leave our county because they are looking for a better education for their children. When they are finished educating their children, they come back into our county. Kane says a mass transit system should be built around the higher education system. If you're getting to and from Murfreesboro, you're probably going through MTSU. If you're going to Lebanon, you're probably at or around Cumberland University. Lots of ideas today. And when it comes to transportation in the region, the next mayor is going to really need them. Election Day is August 6th.